Welcome to the unboxing of a Toradex Colibri Evaluation Board. Before you open the package, make sure you are in an environment that is ESD safe. Open the package carefully and take out the black box. The package contains the evaluation board, a green power plug, and two flexible flat cables or FFCs. Let's now have a look where the components are located on the evaluation board. Now we will install the Colibri module. We are using a Colibri T20. Flip the module on its backside and depending on the module, you may find an additional FFC connector. This connection is not needed to boot the module but is used to install it properly. We'll do it here. Take the FFC cable which is included and connect it to the module as shown. Then take the module and align it to the evaluation board. Please pay attention that you choose the correct angle as you see here. When the module is aligned properly, push down until the two metal clips make a small snapping sound. Then connect the other side of the FFC cable with the evaluation board. The module is now installed correctly and we continue with connecting the board. Connect the power supply. To connect a monitor, take a VGA cable and connect it to the VGA port. Press the power button which is located near the power supply. You now should see the boot process on the connected monitor. It is really easy to connect a mouse. Just plug it into the USB host and it is immediately functional. For having internet, we connect the ethernet cable. It's important that the jumper behind the ethernet plug is in the correct position. This will depend on the module that you are using, so please have a look at the evaluation board data sheet for this specific information. To connect to a computer, you can use the USB client connection. Connect a USB cable to the computer and use the Windows Mobile Device Center. This program will automatically start when you connect it. For additional debug information, you can use the serial port. 
Connect a serial cable to the RS-232 plug. Connect the other side of the cable to the serial port on your computer. If your computer doesn't provide an RS-232 connection, you can use a RS-232 to USB adapter, as we are doing here. To see the additional debug information, you will need to use a terminal program. We recommend the free program TerraTerm. After you have configured TerraTerm properly, you can press the reset button and the debug information will appear. In addition to using the serial port, you can also use the USB port located near the power supply. Unplug the serial cable and plug in an USB cable. When using this USB port, make sure the two jumpers behind the two serial ports are in the correct position. Because we want to show the additional debug information per USB, we have to change the two jumpers from TXRX to USB. Press the reset button again and you will see all the additional debug information. This is the end of the Colibri hardware unboxing. Please also have a look at our Hello World tutorial where we demonstrate how to write and debug a simple application on Tordex ARM modules.